when you're down to do the dirty work. Oh, there is a time in my life. You find any moment to lift oh, yourself man. up. We laugh, we joke, we kid. We have a lot of fun. You just got a haircut? Can't you see? You just got full eyes. Shiny! Alson Fisher knows it's not a glamorous job. We separate it. Uh, paper towels. But he also knows it's beneficial. Uh, napkins. He and other members of the Arlington County Solid Waste Bureau are conducting the quarterly waste audit. <laughs> where they collect and sift through trash from 20 households every day for the rest of the week. Just allows us to see the evolution of the waste stream and allows us to implement new programs as necessary. It helped them push a recent program encouraging households to segregate food scraps by placing them into green organic bins for compost. Up to 25% of waste generated in the county consists of food scraps and waste. By allowing people to divert it away from landfilling or incineration, it breaks down naturally so it doesn't produce those greenhouse gases. While it's only been several months in, the program is showing some promising data. About 27% of all of the food scraps that were generated before are now ending up in the green organic spin. While the amount of overall waste has remained steady in the county, officials say there's still more work ahead. They're currently working on a new waste zero plan by 2024 on how solid waste is managed over the next 20 years. Whole box of contact. It's far from glamorous. Batteries. But when you work with the dirty details, the bigger picture seems more clear. So hopefully this will give them an inspiration to take initiative to do this. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.